Hey guys, what's going on? So, uh, I actually just got home and I just saw that there was a data download. I wanted to get a quick video out for you. Uh, I'm actually really happy, really excited about this because the Ginyu Force, and I know we have talked about this, I've talked about this, um, and a lot of you have talked about it in chat with me. Um, I've seen it up on Facebook uh, and on the Reddit. So many of us have wanted to see the Ginyu Force Doken Awaken. All the old school OG ones, the uh, Raccoon, the Birder, the Jice, uh, the Guldo. But unfortunately, we never got that. So, it looks like we are getting new units for all of these, which is phenomenal, by the way. I'm super hyped about it. Um, we don't have, unfortunately, any of the Doken Awakens for those guys yet. Maybe they'll come at some point uh, for the cards that currently exist, for like the, the SRs. But it looks like we're finally getting that whole ultra-rare Ginyu Force team that we have all been waiting for. Now, I'm super hyped, so let's go ahead and just talk about it. Now, these are just the images of what they look like. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll click on them in a little bit. I want to go over the actual uh, units first. So, first off, we're getting a new LR Ginyu Force, uh, the LR full LR Ginyu Force, which is right over here. Um, this is a really sick card. I really like it. And he has Goku's body, so that's just phenomenal. Uh, this is Ginyu Force Category Key plus 3 HP Attack and Defense plus 100%, which is so awesome. Uh, super Attack at 12 keys, Milky Cannon, greatly increases attack for one turn, deals colossal damage. 18 key is Special Fighting Assault. It deals mega colossal damage to the enemy and raises attack of extreme allies by 30% for one turn. Now, I really cannot wait to see what that looks like. I really can't wait. I, I just, I, it's going to be super hyped. Passive skill, Glory of Evil, raises attack and defense for all extreme allies by 30% and raises attack and defense of all Ginyu Force category allies, but an additional 20%. So his uh, his passive skill is going to raise everyone on your team because obviously you're going to want to run a Ginyu Force team by 50%. So uh, that's the attack and defense is going to be up by 50%. Awesome. Link skills, Ginyu Force, signature pose, gentlemen, respect, loyalty, more than meets the eye, legendary power. Uh, he's part of the Planet Namek Saga and the Ginyu Force category. And we also have the new Ginyu. We're only going to be going over the TURs. That's what's translated. And that's all that really actually matters. Maybe I'll do a full guide in the future. I'll also do a team building guide at some point in the future as well. Obviously, the team building guide is going to be this team. We're probably just going to talk about link skills and who you're going to have on rotation or not. Leader ability is intelligence type key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 30%. Now, that's all of their leader abilities. They're all for their own individual types. I love how also they gave Jice, Birder, and Guldo their colors, and Raccoon technically as well, and Ginyu. Like, that's so awesome how each of them got their own colors. <laughs> Sign. That's freaking awesome. Uh, anyway, um, let's see over here. Ginyu, Milky Can increases attack and deals supreme damage to the enemy, so it's going to be supreme damage dealer. Passive skill, attack pattern, when the when there's only one enemy, you get key plus three, attack and defense plus 70%. But when there's two or more enemies, you reduce damage taken by 50%. So if you're only going up against like a Dokkan event, um, you're going to get, he's going to be super self-reliant and do a lot of damage and tank really well. When you're not on a Dokkan event, like when you're on Super Battle Road or something like that, you're going to have a, um, you're going to be able to reduce damage by 50%, which is phenomenal. Uh, he has Ginyu Force, Signature Pose, Gentleman Respect, Loyalty, um, and, and Shattering the Limit. Uh, see, Respect. So he essentially has everything that this guy has, except he ends at Loyalty. Um, so they have these all in common, which is awesome, which isn't that bad. Next one is Raccoon, Dangerous Rush. Leader ability is the Physical Leader, Key plus 2, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 30%, kind of whack. Well, they're, all the leaders are kind of whack. I'm going to skip them, the rest of them anyway, uh, just so you know. So when you say, hey, you're not going over the rest of them, because they're all the same. Super attack, Raccoon Eraser Gun, as he typically would have. Supreme damage and greatly reduces defense. That's actually really cool um, for certain events. Passive, Tenacious Villain, defense plus 80% and attack plus 14% per attack received, a maximum of 70%. Uh, actually, that's really awesome. He's a really good defender. So, so far, we have some really good defensive units over here. Um, yeah, these two are really good at defending. Uh, what about this one over here? Uh, the, I guess the LR Ginyu would probably be good for defending as well. Uh, Link skills, Ginyu for signature pro pose, brutal beatdown, tough as nails, in fighter, and shattering the limit. Um, so overall, he's really good for tanking, and he does some decent damage after he gets hit a couple times. Uh, now we're going to talk about Jice, Dignity of the Ginyu Force. Uh, his super attack is Crusher Ball. These deals supreme damage to the enemy, and plus 20% for all allies for one turn. So when he supers, he's giving everyone an attack buff, which is cool. Passive skill, objective captured, extreme allies, key plus two, attack plus 20%, and reveal the location of the enemy super attack. 
So that's actually, that's a really awesome mechanic. I kind of like it. It's probably because, you know, they all have the scouters. It's really interesting that not all of them have it. I feel like that all of them should have it since all of them have the scouters. But whatever, just that having him there, that actually makes him really viable for a mono strength extreme team. Uh, I wouldn't mind grabbing him. I'm not going to pull on the banner myself, but I wouldn't mind grabbing him. Link skills are Ginyu Force, Signature Post, as always, Tag Team of Terror, Brainiacs, Fleet, and Shattering the Limit. So obviously it's because he links very well with Birder, uh, because they are really good units. So, well, they, in, in the actual uh, series, they were really good friends and they had their own thing going on. I'm still waiting for that. You have the two characters that are linked together. When both of them get a super attack, they do a double, like a combo attack. I'm waiting for something like that to happen. Uh, this would have been a really good setup for something like that. But uh, we're not going to talk about Birder. Birder is flat. Uh, what is this? Uh, flattening, flattering speed. So we have Flattering Speed over here, his super attack is Blue Impulse, raises defense and deals supreme damage to the enemy, which is kind of whack. Um, I don't know if that raises defense is constant or not. Pass the skill Blue after image attack plus 10% for key orb obtained and a high chance to evade enemies attacks while in the first attack position all the way far left. So that, that's actually really interesting. So you're going to want him first and you're going to probably have Jice next to him if you're going to go with that mechanic. Um, which actually isn't that bad. The only thing that stinks about it is he's not going to get the benefit from Jice's passive on his super attack. But whatever, what can you do? He'll be able to at least have a high chance of dodging. And the high chances, I, I believe, now don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure that means it's the same thing as Khalifla. So he's going to have a really high chance to uh, evade, just like uh, the, um, uh, the Vegito Candy Vegito. Link skills, Ginyu Force, Signature Post, Speedy Retribution, Tag Team of Terror, Shocking Speed and Shattering the Limit. So they have these two up here, Tag Team of Terror and Shattering the Limit as their linking abilities. Uh, and that's about it, between the two of those. And last but not least, we have Guldo. He is Harsh Constraint Guldo. Uh, Super Attack Psycho Javelin, deals supreme damage and medium chance to stun. I feel like they should have given him a higher chance to stun, like high chance to stun. He is Guldo, he is the guy of stunning. Uh, passive skill though is really cool. Suppression, reduces attacked enemies attack and defense by 20% for two turns. So this guy, you're going to want, if you're going to give dupe system into him, if you get like dupes of him, you're probably going to want to go with additional attacks just because it's his passive and he doesn't need a super for that to happen. So I would highly recommend going for double attacks with something like this just because he's going to be debuffing the enemy like crazy. Link skills are Ginyu 4, Signature Pose, Telekinesis, Brutal Beatdown, Brainiacs, and Shattering the Limit. Overall, really good setup. I really like it. Let's go over here and take a look really quick. I just want to show you guys the images of their TUR variants. Um, this is going to be the Ginyu over here. Really cool. I like it. This is what he's about to do is change now. Uh, I also want to see because I like Ginyu. Yeah, that's cool. That's freaking, he's so epic here. Uh, we have Guldo, which is, I never liked Guldo. He kind of looks weird to me, but um, there he is. Those are his two forms. We have Birder over here. Birder was one of my favorites. Birder and Jice were always my two favorites, so um, I would personally prefer Jice, but that's just because of the whole the Australia thing. <laughs> um, there we go. Looks like he's going in for the kick. And that's him going for, like, launching attack. That's awesome. And last but not least, we have Raccoon, which is, he just looks so doofy. This guy's such a doofball. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm super hyped about it. Uh, I can't wait. Actually, I do want to see one thing. I want to see what this is. Okay, so I think this is the tag team one. Um, let's go ahead and translate to English real quick. Uh, amazing speed. Do we have tag team here? I don't think we do. Um, I don't see it anyway, so I can't tell you exactly what it is. Maybe Jice will have his. Uh, settled pose, it's signature pose actually. So yeah, we don't have that combination. Oh, tag team, there we go. Tag plus 500 up, that's horrible. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. So I'm super hyped about that. I can't wait for this to get released. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I'm just happy that we finally have a new Ginyu Force that is, that is coming and gonna be available for us. But anyway guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you all later. Peace.